In 1919, a wealthy Toronto merchant and his wife began the acquisition of lands including a lake that would soon become their estate. In 1920, the family completed their weekend retreat home and estate totaling a mass of 696 acres. In 1922, the merchant passed away from pneumonia, leaving the wife and trustee for their son in control until 1943 when he was old enough to take the reins. During the 1930s, the wife moved into the weekend home and the family commissioned an even larger house to be built on the property, which is still in use today. Work began in 1932 and the new house was ready for occupancy in 1939, just in time for the outbreak of World War II. The wife remained in the original home until World War II was over. During the war, the family welcomed a group of war children displaced from England by the Blitz. The new manor was also occupied as a naval infirmary. In 1949, the wife made the new manor her permanent home until 1970, when she relocated. Later, she passed away in 1971. After her death, the entire estate, including both homes, were sold off to a school. The original manor was used for a visual arts program, which started in 1971, and it ran until 1983, when it was cancelled. With the closure of the program, the home was abandoned and has sat rotting away ever since. This year marks the 100th anniversary of its construction. Join us as we venture inside. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to this explore of this abandoned mansion that was converted into a banquet slash inn. It has extreme heavy decay. It's in awful shape. No graffiti. There's some cool history behind it. There should be an uh, intro with the history before. This is the first explore of the new year, so make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and make sure you have those post notifications turned on. It's going to be an insane year, but let's get into this one. All right, guys, let's go check this out. Wow. All right, guys, I actually got gloves finally, so. Oh, it's so bad. Apparently it's super, super decayed and super dangerous in here, so we do have to be super careful. Wow, the natural decay is unreal. Room 104. Can't fit in here, guys. Room 105. Wow. It's a very nice fireplace. One of the more intact rooms in this whole place so far.
Ouais. Ok. Oh jeez. Look at that, guys. Holy. So you see what I mean by this place is super dangerous? So that's the floor. It's falling in. Look at that even. You can see the uh, the radiator by the window. It's all bent up. Nuts. Don't really want to stand under it, but here's secondary view of that. So guys, Ethan listened for once. It's got the respirator <laughs> on. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. Because this one, this is bad. Like this, I'm pretty sure, this is all asbestos laced in there. This was a washroom. Wow, this is cool. One of the more intact rooms. Look at the fireplace. Look at, you know, look at the washroom. It's so much cleaner than everything else. <laughs> So I guess this was one of the rooms, as the in part. That's yeah. why it's numbered. Like, it's a pretty nice room. Alrighty, on to the next one, guys. Look at the hallway, even. Like, look at how destroyed that is. Like, that's absolutely nuts. Inspection certification. Did it fail? 1997. Jesus. Oh my god, there's a basement in here. Ew. Yeah. I like this little wall, it's like buckled. Be careful where you walk up here. Because that's the collapse part right there. Yeah. So that's where it collapsed, guys. So we're going to go this way. Wow. The decay is nuts. Like, look at the exit sign. I think this is the spot where it's fallen in. Yep. Oh yeah. Right there, too. You right through. All right. That's scary, guys. Oh my. So we're obviously not going in here. Got a nice fireplace though. <laughs> but it's all falling in over there too, so we're gonna pass. Like you can see straight through. It 
it's over here. Another nice room. I'm guessing again, this was an like a like an apartment thing. This floor is also falling in here too, so we're gonna not stay here very long, guys. But that's the fireplace. One thing with this place, guys, is that everything is such is in such bad shape that we might not go into every room fully. We might not see everything, so I'm sorry about that, but. It's a safety thing over giving you guys a look at it. I'm not going to see it, you're not going to see it. But I try my best to go in every room, but some of them are just so far gone that the floor is missing, there's too much mold, or there's just water, and you can't trust it. Look at the wallpaper. Have you ever seen wallpaper peel like that? Because I haven't. scarily dangerous. Wow. Alright, let's see what's in this staircase. Huh. So this just leads back to the uh, main level. What the hell? It's all the boilers and stuff. That's cool. At least this is concrete, so you know we're not gonna fall through. Some newspapers. Look at the old, you can buy a Chevy Cavalier. That's old. May 17th, 94. 1994. Wow. Some other ones here too. Labor Seek Full Review of NDP Links. That one's also 94. Probably the same magazine. Mm -hmm. Or newspaper, not magazine. Nothing here. I love all the fuse boxes and stuff, though, too. Those are always interesting to me. What's under this? Nothing. Look, it's really short very quickly. Some chairs. That's about it though. Here's your boilers, though. Not super interesting, so we're gonna keep going. Oh, we know it's like a wood, it's like an actual. Wow. That's cool. Wait, there's like oil filters. General filter. Look at how cool this is. Oh, wow. I have no idea what it's for. It's a midget level meter. Operate pump to read. So I guess it's for the pumps in this building. It's a cast iron boiler. So that's the boiler. Maybe it was for the boiler. It's also got the old gauge right here. Warning, this area contains asbestos. We're good. 
<laughs> it's massive down here. Here's the uh, board of signing your name. That is it. Right. So we got Noah Nowhere. Boom. That does not look like an NN, but it's good enough. Looks like E mine. <laughs> good enough. So I got these for Christmas, guys. So they're on uh, impact and cut resistant gloves. Because everybody didn't. No, but put gloves on, put gloves on, so I got them. 20, 2020, new year, new me. Some old shelving units. The door's stuck, so we're not getting in there. There's no way it's not. He would say something if you. Another empty room. Ha, that's cool. Management Development Center. That's something that they would uh, use and teach from. Oh, it's mangled in here. Huh, you can see the floor is giving out underneath too. Is that what we were walking on? Uh oh. That's dangerous. Okay, we're gonna skip here. Actually, I wanna see one thing. I guess this was an entrance point at some point. Look at all the water. Oh I can hear him walking above us, so I don't want to be under this if it falls. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Staircase. Oh, those are the worst staircase. Yeah. So this is the last room, guys. Wait, there's a little mini staircase over there. It is. But this looks like it was just like a lecture room or like a storage room. Huh. The staircase is super interesting though. Huh. Huh. It is. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me on this Explore of this Abandoned Mansion. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Turn on those post notifications. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Also, make sure to follow Ethan on Instagram, YouTube, and maybe one day Facebook. But everything will be linked in the description below. He's got some cool stuff coming out, and he's getting close to, what's your subscriber count? I don't know, like 1100, I think. It's getting close to 1100, so help him out. Make sure he gets some love. Yeah. And I will see you guys in the next Explorer.